Hey guys, I'm Sam. Here's the review on Toriko chapter 367. And I don't know what to think about this chapter, honestly. I'm, I'm obviously a little bit sad. I'm a bit bummed out because that Jiro has gone. But part of me is getting a bit mixed feelings from this chapter. I feel a little bit underwhelmed, to be fair. Maybe because of the way that Jiro was done in and it was only in a chapter. I don't know if that kind of seems like it was rushed. Because I really saw that, I, I assumed that we were going to get like a full on, maybe a couple of more chapters, like a Don Slam kind of thing. Um, but it seems like, no, we, he only got done in, in one chapter. And it kind of seems anticlimactic as well. Because like, ever since when Jiro got, he like unleashed his, himself like 100%, we, we thought him to be like amazing. Like, unbelievably strong. And then in one chapter, like, Acacia takes him out. And the fact is though, it's like, Acacia takes him out like he's nothing. That's the thing. That's what kind of makes me feel a little bit underwhelmed. I'm kind of wondering, like, how strong is Acacia? How strong is Acacia and Neo? Like, how strong can they actually be if they had taken out Juro just like that? Bear in mind, though, it wasn't like... It wasn't Acacia's strength that took out Juro. It was more of um, the damage knocking. So it kind of seems a little bit... What's the word? Like, um... It kind of seems a little bit too easy for Juro to go go out like that. Like, he's knocking Master Juro, and he dies by his own knocking, even though it's a little bit ironic. I kind of assumed him to go out in a bigger bang. Not saying that the way he went out in this chapter wasn't mad. Like, I assumed it would, had to, I assumed Acacia to go, like, all out on him. But, um, oh, what, what can you do? So, either way, this chapter was still amazing. I still love this chapter, and the feels were mad. It's like, I can't believe Juro's actually gone. It's like, the countdown... <laughs> could say it's like the countdown for all the three disciples to get ticked off because um Ich Ichiryu was on Ichiryu was killed you could say I was by Midora but I'm not I don't think Mid I'm not counting that I'm I I technically think that well I don't think I technically count it as Neo killing um or like Acacia killing Ichiryu because the Nitros done it and the Nitros they done it for um Acacia I'm guessing so you could kind of say um, invertedly, Acacia took out Ichiru. Now he's taken out um, Jiro, and it's like Midora's next. <laughs> but the thing is with Midora, I'm kind of like even the word choosing in this chapter as well because Joel was just like this. Um, with your battle power, your speed, and everything, it seems like no one can take you on, like no one can defeat you. So I'm wondering, hang on, is Midora stronger than Jiro? We do know that Midora took out Ichiru. Bear in mind, Ichiru did not use his gourmet demon Don Slime. So I'm kind of wondering, how st strong exactly is Midora? Would the rankings actually be um, in the strength of the three disciples? Would it be Ichiryu, Midora, and Jiro? Um, and what I mean by Ichiryu, would it be Ichiryu with Don Slime, then Midora and his gourmet demon, then Jiro? I'm not sure. Either way, um, I'm kind of excited to see. It. I'm wondering if Midora does fight Acacia, and if he does, I don't want Midora to go out the way Juro did. I don't want even. I don't. Want, I especially do not want Midora to go out the way Don Slam done, because I'm really hating Acacia now. And I know this is good work of Mr. Toshi. Like he is doing such a good job of like portraying Acacia and Neo to be such a villain. Like we're really hating him, especially like I've been hating Neo for ages. Like Neo's just disgusting, but I hate Acacia even more. Like the fact in this chapter when he was saying to Jiro like all those tears were fake. Like when we saw the flashbacks with the family, it was all a fake. It was all a joke, a game. Now I'm wondering if Froze if Froze was in this was in on this as well because um we do see Joe and Joe is a part of Froze. So I'm guessing. Joe, the, while Froze was alive, Joe was kind of manip was kind of working alongside with Acacia. I'm not sure because Froze didn't resurrect. Like Froze, dis um decided to stay, um in the grave, like stay dead because he she knew what Acacia was doing and she didn't approve. So that kind of implies that she wasn't in on what Acacia was doing, and that does make me feel a little bit better. But I hate Acacia even more. Like, the fact that everything was a lie, and it's just like, it really concretes that he's a villain. I always thought, ever since, like, ever since we found out about Neo and Acacia and all that kind of stuff, I didn't think Acacia was evil. I was always thinking, like, yeah, he's doing this for, like, the good of, like, for the good of humanity, or he's doing this because he's got an, he's got a goal, or, like, he's going to try and betray the natural. That's always what I always thought he's got something up his sleeve. But to see that he's an actual villain, like, he's in and out evil, it's kind of like, it makes me hate him even more. And I can't wait till he dies. 
like, especially, oh, Jiro, man. It, it shows how much of a beast Jiro is, because the attacks that he's sustained throughout all this knocking. We find out that what, once you knock someone, or once you knock someone's damage, it actually doesn't disperse. It kind of stays contained within you, even though it's kind of like, it's stopped by that amount of energy that's still within you. And what Acacia done in this chapter, Acacia just released it all in Jira, and the amount of power he accumulated was enough to destroy Earth countless times over. Bear in mind, Earth in Toriko is much more dense, much more massive, much more bigger than our Earth. You can imagine how much of a beast Jira is, and the fact he was talking as well. He was like to Acacia, oh please don't tell me Dora, please don't tell me Dora. So I was just like, yo... Jiro is a certified beast. At least he goes out with a bang. You could say he goes out. Literally, he goes out with a bang. But, um, it's kind of sad to see him go. Like, damn. Uh, I, I want to point out how it's interesting it is to see. We did see Acacia. In this fight, even though it was a chapter, be it, we saw Acacia. Acacia was the one who was, well, of course we saw Acacia, but like, Acacia was the one who was fighting Jiro, not Neo. And it kind of makes me think, like, whilst Don Slam was fighting Neo, how come Acacia wasn't the one talking? How come Acacia wasn't the one fighting? So, I'm not sure about that. I'm, I still think Acacia had a little bit of feelings towards the three disciples. Because if he didn't, Acacia wouldn't have been talking to him. It would have been Neo, and Neo was a straight out A duo. That's how I'm thinking it played out. So you could say that Acacia was killing Jiro out of mercy, um, or out of kindness, so that he doesn't actually get... Killed. I thought that since um he has been defeated, he can get revived again. I'm not sure Jiro is one of those kind of beings like Don Slime or the Nitro, but um Neo didn't eat like, um Jiro, so that that does mean that his cells, the whole part of his gourmet energy, his appetite is still existent within the universe, which we learn about the law of conversation of energy kind of thing. So it, I don't know if that's a possibility for him to be revived. Maybe not because he's not like Don Slime or the Nitro. But either way, this chapter was sad. And it's just like, we've seen Midori at the end of this chapter, and I'm like, Midori killed Joe. Just like, kill her right now. Or kill her, or kill him. D d is Joe a he or a her? I'm a little bit bashed on that. And I still want to find out more about Joe, because I Joe has got a gourmet demon, yet Joe was inside Froze, so I don't understand that kind of thing. So, um, tell me for the comment below what you thought of this chapter. Uh, are you sad to see Jiro go? Are you, what are your feelings of the way this fight was executed? How it was Jiro vs Acacia literally in one chapter and Acacia took him out like just releasing all the knocking. It kind of little, it seemed a little bit rushed to be fair. But if you want to comment below, I'm going to see you next week for like greatness story called chapter 368. Drop a like on this video if you liked what I said or I had, if you liked anything I had to say in this review. Um, subscribe for weekly reviews of Toriko and I'll see you next week. Shinyam-san, goodbye.